In the deepening fight against corruption on the continent, the African Union has empowered a group led by Nigerian President General Muhammadu Buhari to spearhead the looting of coffers of African countries by politicians. Corruption has been identified as the leading cause of underdevelopment and a drawback to Africa's progress. The figures are staggering and some say if the amount of money looted from the continent in the last 30 years was available for development, Africa would have witnessed an accelerated growth and made a great dent on poverty. For the 2018 Africa Union 30th Summit, the theme is winning the fight against corruption, the path to sustainable transformation. The leaders are dedicating 2018 to recover all ground that the continent has lost to corruption. To kickstart the move, the leaders from the 55 African nations were locked up in a closed-door meeting for over three hours. They were evaluating how the AU fared in 2017 with regards to its goal of harnessing the potential of the youth in Africa and also how to generate resources to finance its activities in the years ahead. The development ties into reforms and back upon in the year under review under the leadership of President Alpha Conde. Though there is the commitment to move away from depending on donor support, the EU leaders are yet to firm up on strategies on how to improve on revenue mobilization from within the continent. Setting the tone for the summit, the chairperson of the AU Commission, Mr. Musa Farke, called on warring factions in southern Sudan to cease hostilities. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres lauded Africa for deploying 20,000 troops in peacekeeping across the world, but stressed that without the necessary logistics and resources, the mission for peace will be difficult to achieve. The outgoing chairperson of the AU, President Alpha Conde, said, with a unity of purpose, Africa can realize all the goals set in the AU Agenda 2063. This includes creating prosperity for the youth through jobs, free single air market for Africa, continental free trade among others. He lauded Ghana for launching the planting for food and jobs and the one district, one factory policy which are to address unemployment. Since January 2017, four countries in Africa have had new leaders including Angola, Somalia, Zimbabwe and Liberia and they were introduced. The incoming chairperson of the AU, President Paul Kagame of Rwanda said Africa has lost a lot of opportunities and it is time to take advantage of technology to accelerate the continent's development. He urged his colleagues, heads of state, to ensure that the free trade agreement works to reduce youth unemployment on the continent. The president of Nigeria, Mahmoud Buhari, thanked the AU for giving him the opportunity to lead a crusade against corruption. He said, education, advocacy and building synergies between public and private sectors will be critical in fighting corruption which has destroyed the lives of many Africans. There was the consensus among the 55 African nations gathered in Addis Ababa that the battle against corruption cannot be won overnight but with commitment, determination, education, supporting anti-corruption institutions and strict enforcement of laws without fear or favor, territories lost to corruption will be retrieved.